All right, guys, so here is my second soap um, of the night. I don't even know if you guys can see what the hell I'm doing. Um, this one is the Energy Soap. And I've already got everything started, so I'm just going to go ahead and add my light and get started. Um, I'm going to do three colors, red, orange, and black. I'm trying to use up all of the little samples that I get from Wholesale Supplies Plus. So, I've got a bunch of odds and ends. I don't know if this is like florally, so I'm going to add it last after I mix my color just because I don't want there to be any mishaps because, well, it doesn't smell florally at all, but it's pretty citrusy, so I hope it doesn't change any of my mixtures. It seems pretty clear in the bottle, but it's an amber bottle, so I actually couldn't tell you. Um, all right, so let's get started with this. I'm just gonna put this here and I'm gonna pour off two eight ounce color sections, eight and eight. Probably could go with more. Let's see what I have left. 24 ounces, so we're gonna go with 12 and 12. I just like to have just a little bit more of one color and not too much more. So there's that. I'm going to do, I'm sure I've got the right colors here. The bottom for the base, black. And then I'm going to do the dusty red that I have. One scoop. And I'm going to do neon orange. One scoop. Does anybody know if they make a cordless stick blender? Ugh, that would be freaking awesome. So in with um, the energy, let me get a spatula out and pour this in. Yep, pretty orange. So I think it's going to complement these um, colors well, except for that light one right there. I hope it doesn't <laughs> mess with that one. Okay guys, I'm back to pour these and I have got a little idea and I hope it works. I'm going to pour the black into here, give it a little swirl like in the pot swirl. Then I'm gonna pour them side by side in here, like um, the one that's going around. I don't know who came up with it. So, hopefully it works. I'm gonna drop this from higher up. Not that great yet in the pot swirls, but I try. I just wait until the color starts coming up to the top. You can tell I don't think I put enough in these two. Sometimes I think I do it too much, sometimes I think I don't do it enough, and other times it's both. So now, I'm going to try this, hopefully it doesn't break through. Let's see, I 
when it does that, that I feel like it's heading up. It's separating all funky like. It's awkward. Mm, I think I'll just use this. That's not going to work, is it? I really like these Darth Vader ones and these Stormtrooper ones because they're super easy to unmold. The details aren't really that fine. So I don't have to uh, worry about any kind of breakage when I unmold them. I have the the ones, oh I don't even remember the name of those, the little fighter ships, but I have those too. And they're super hard to unmold and they always break the wings off and I hate that. So I'm just going to have to save it for something else. I don't know what to make inside of it. It's just one of those things. And then I don't like to overflow them because then it makes my, the back of it not flat. And then I have to worry about planing and getting them all straight. And I am not about to go through all that mess. Whatever. Alright guys. So there is my energy. I'm gonna go find a lid for these that can cover them up and gel them tonight. Alright, I'll see you guys for the cutting of those. <laughs>